the paintings which I'm going to show you in this moment is dedicated to my mother who died one year ago. And uh, she was a poet. And for me, I have a very deep uh, connection with her and with her creativity because not only she's my mother, of course, but, but also she was so much in tune with the nature. And then, uh, yeah, haiku poem, which means it's uh, all depicting according to the nature and then uh, the human emotions. So she showed me the beauty of the nature and then change of the seasons. So these paintings which you see in this moment, it's a, I dedicated to my mother's book, the haiku poems. Is it okay to, to put it here? Because it's against the black? <coughs> or <coughs> like that is better? Uh-huh, okay. And this is uh, very fitting for me because uh, I was always wondering about my life. Yeah? Either I want to be a dancer or a painter or a poet. So when I had to choose my path, I chose to be a painter. But although I become a painter, that uh, undercurrent is always uh, poems were running under my paintings. And then uh, luckily, my, my father was a musician. He plays a flute. And my mother is a poet. So I had a lot of support from my parents that I think I'm really a lucky one, you know? And then uh, in a way, I have never worried about uh, life, how to make money. And then of course, many times and many years, I had uh, no money, but it was not a kind of um, anxiety or worry about the survival, you know, worries. I didn't have that. So how important to be supported by parents. All these paintings which you see in this moment, for example, this painting, it's a winter. And if you really know, if you really want to express the beauty of the cherry blossoms, you have to go through the winter when there's nothing naked, standing against a cold wind then you will really understand flowering. So that's why whenever uh, I want to express something, I go behind the expression which you see. So which means I go uh, to different seasons to the same spot and to see the tree, to see the nature naked. And this uh, makes me strong also, you know, that if the trees can do, to go against the big wind. I also can do that. I get a lot of support from nature. So full moon is a symbol. And tonight is a full moon. And the full moon is a symbol of our awareness and an opening of uh, consciousness. And then uh, when I was um, traveling, uh, when I was young, I was uh, in the train. And the, there, there were like uh, six monks in the same train, Japanese monks, and they gave me the poem. And that was about full moon. And he says, Whenever you see the full moon clearly, you are the moon. Your consciousness is a full moon. And then, well, I didn't understand much because I was just a young student. 
But now I can really feel that, you know? Whatever you see clearly outside, it's what's happening inside has a clarity. Because uh, with the same beauty you show to the people who are not connected, uh, you know, then they don't see it. The beauty of the nature, which is uh, abundantly always offering to us. So this time, I really hide myself alone. That was in November in Pune. And I wanted to complete love for my mother. So I wanted to pour, pour out all my love into painting. And then I really saw the quality, healing quality in creativity, in the colors, in expression. So my tears were really disappearing into creativity. So this was a really precious days I had. And then my mother was born by the ocean. And then on the cliff, the cherry trees are standing. And I like one of her poems which says, she was describing about the falling of the cherry blossoms. So I really wish um, everybody, you know, would experience once in their life this uh, grandeur of the cherry blossoms. Because uh, flowers are only happening for 10 days a year. And then uh, the way how they die, also it's a dance. So this I learned from these flowers, you know. When the wind blows, then the whole petals, they start uh, dancing all together. And that's the way how they die, letting go in dance. So I want to show you one more about the winter, the new snow. And there is some similarity, this new snow and the cherry blossoms. The other night, I dreamed of um, the nature was totally covered in snow, and the cherry blossoms are happening. And, and it's really contradictory, because these flowers is uh, happening in the springtime. But I remember I was taking a walk with my mother two years ago. I went to see her in the autumn. Then, from far, I saw like a cherry flowers are happening. So I got a shock because it's not of the season it's happening. So I went with my mother nearby, 
and there was a gardener working there. So I asked, what is that? This is the cherry flowers happening now in this season. And he said, yes. This is a very rare flowers. They are like a guardian of the cherry blossoms. And they are flowering in snow, in the dark weather. Till the real flowers come, they are standing there flowering. And when the real flower comes, they disappear. So really, it really touched me, you know, that um, this kind of support for the real thing to happen, silently supporting all the way through without a grudge. So I always learn my life, how to live through, through the trees, through the flowers, through the seasons.